Angel or not, going through intersections. This is kind of downtown, so you're going to be in Orange Stage for the most part, you know, kind of prepped and ready, and that's why you had a little Nissan popping out, wanting to do a left-handed turn in front of you guys, or in front of him. Uh, so this is going to be the main thing right here, okay? So let's go ahead and pay attention to this right here. we got that vehicle coming out. It's a left turn lane. It's not going to be something you want to, you know, crash into. But once you see that, you're definitely in orange stage already because of the intersections and everything. But once you see that, that's when you're like, oh, man, I don't really like it. And then when we were planning a ride, remember, we're positioning and locating these hazards. We're definitely going to assess if this is a relevant threat. We're going to navigate around it, go into red stage actively get around it by swerving, mercy braking, especially if we're going like, you know, like 25, 35 in this area, we could probably break really well. But uh, yeah, you gotta be really careful about these types of people that are gonna be crossing out in front of you. Didn't go, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal, handled it, handled it. Angel or not, once again, intersections. When we're stopped right there, I'm always looking for road surface hazards. And then you got somebody coming out, almost hitting the pedestrian with a stroller. Okay, you know, it's not your problem, but if, if it did happen to that person, if they got hit, uh, hopefully you can rescue that, that uh, honestly, the baby, they're the ones going to be decompensating quicker. N Niven Moto Vlogs from Chile, okay, on his phone, got GPS going, has a phone on his handlebars with GPS, interesting. Whoa! Oh, wow, I'm really surprised it wasn't ripped off, I mean, if it was a quad lock. That would be impossible, but... Wow. So this is in Chile. Okay. Yeah, the guy did pretty good. Hey, man, that guy's kind of jacked. Um, so he's going to try to rip the phone off. Okay. Handled it, doing some slow speed uh, maneuvers. You know, almost crashed himself. He's going to go ahead and do a quick, tight turn to the left. Did a head check. Very good for that thief uh, taking care of their own safety. Um, but yeah, definitely got to watch out for that kind of stuff. Pretty interesting to see. Does it happen a lot where you're at? Uh, you guys? I mean, I've never seen it happen here in Tucson. Josh Johnson. Interesting. Uh, two first names. So we have a what? This is a shoulder. Okay. Don't recommend this. Uh, there's going to be a lot of debris on the shoulder. I'd rather lane filter, but I don't know why the car's doing this. Whoa. We hit a, hit a rock. Hit a rock or something. Got to check your tires. Check your tires and rim after that. So there it is. There's that rock. So boom. Oh, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. So you can kind of see it a little bit better. Yeah, you got the rock right there, obviously. Uh, so when it comes to something like this, you got to be very careful, especially uh, on the shoulders. You're going to have like, you know, burnt rubber, alligator skin. Um, you're going to have, you know, the wires from this, the, the alligator skin to tires. Uh, but a lot of road surface hazards, debris, just like random stuff on the shoulder. Okay. And right here, when we talk about positioning for safety and locating hazards and all that stuff, you know, remember, plan your ride. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Right now, you can't really see it because the vehicle is blocking it. So make sure we have a good space cushion and we're actually paying attention just in case anything comes out from underneath the vehicle on the shoulders. Um, so you can see really well. Uh, just in case you see something, you can actually move out of the way. Now, this is just a tiny rock, so you're able to do something. You know, you're going to go into red stage because you don't want to hit anything at all. And so when we see the rock right here, you could do at least some form of adjustment. Let's go back just a little bit so you can see. Let's pretend that this is a lane. So shoulders are pretty big. And then, uh, so yeah, we're in the center. And then what we could easily do is switch over to the left and switch or switch over to the right. Okay, we could do something. We could just do something. We, we got to do something. And we could just even do this or just this. We just can't be right there. It's such a tiny object. And how you actually crash into small objects or into anything, what do you guys think? Write in the comments. It starts with target and ends with fixation. So don't target fixate on the rock. Target fixate on your escape path, okay? Yeah. Check your tires after that, too. Raven Rider. Sounds familiar. Side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle. Pulled out in front of us. Great position for safety. Yeah, switching over because they took your position. Very good, Raven. I wouldn't be side by side though. You can tell by the bumper that they've actually hit other people doing that. Good position again. This is a great, this is a great example of planning your ride. Great braking. Good positioning again. You have giveaway, you have. Okay, uh, that's a little kid. I don't want to. I don't want to see the argument. All right, let's go and take a look at that one one more time. So right here, we're coming up. Remember, we're planning our ride. We're going to position for safety. So we're going to put ourselves in a good escape path, good space cushion, and good line of sight. Locating hazard situation, so intersections, side of the vehicle. We're going to assess if that side of the vehicle is a relevant threat. And we're constantly going to navigate around that active threat 
to get ourselves back into a new position for safety. So I want to show you guys what exactly I'm thinking about when I'm seeing this. So right here, definitely going to be the side of the vehicle, definitely going to be something. Okay, this is definitely orange stage. We're prepped and ready for something. And then right here, they start puffing, popping out. We're going to go into red stage. Okay, we got to do something. We're going to do some probably progressive braking. We're going to go ahead and squeeze it just a little bit. We're not going fast. We're going to go ahead and maintain our space cushion here. So right here, if you notice, if he couldn't stop in time, he has a great... Uh, vision. He has a great escape path right in front of him. He has a great everything right in front of him. And that's because he is planning his ride. That's just what it is for a position for safety. So, okay, we got it. We're here. We have a good position for safety. The driver just took it from us. Okay, we still have good vision. We still, we can maybe make it through there, but we, we're kind of blocked now because of the, uh, the curb. So what he's going to do is like, I don't like that. Reposition it. Now look at we're in a better position for safety. So if that person takes your position, you have to locate a new one and then move over. You have to do something because our space cushion right behind the vehicle isn't good. So if we stayed like right here, let's go ahead and go back just a little bit. So if we stayed right here, right behind the vehicle, if they slam the brakes, we're gonna run into them. So he did a quick maneuver. Now we're in a better position for safety. Okay, we're good, we're good, right? So let's see what happens. Okay, now they're slowing down. We're getting side by side. Now we're right next to the vehicle. If they swerve left, we're gonna get hit. So we should probably roll off the throttle or accelerate past. We gotta do something here. I'd rather roll off the throttle because accelerating puts you in a new hazardous situation of too much speed. Now you have to make adjustments with that newer speed. I'd rather do adjustments at slow speed. So we're getting up to here. Now this person takes our position once again, okay? We're getting blocked off. So what does Raven Rider do? Gets into a new position for safety. Look at this. This is a great example. This is definitely going to be a smart, this is definitely a smart rider. So he's seeking out and recognizing it moving over. And so now we're in a new position for safety. I don't know what's up with this driver, but this driver wants to keep taking this uh, person's position, the Raven Rider. So right here, they slow down because of the van in front. I believe it looks like an ambulance. I don't know. And uh, they slow down, so we slow down. We did really good progressive braking. I say we. Raven Rider did great progressive braking, and we're still in a good position. We have great line of sight. We can escape into that little spot like a lane filter. Doesn't like it because the curb is being right there. Okay, what are we going to do? Remember, planning our ride. We're locating hazardous situations. We have to assess. This is all relevant threat. We have, it's an active threat. We have a cyclist side of the, side of the cyclist up ahead. Reposition. We got to reposition now. Reposition. Great job with slow speed. Didn't, didn't paddle foot it. But then right here, it's like, you know, it's, sure, you do what you want to do. I don't really care. But great job on the positioning for safety. Great job with planning your ride. Let's go and take a look. Kawasaki Ninja. Okay, right here, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yes, it's going to be that pattern. Let me see what happens. There it is, getting pushed out. Getting pushed out. The bus caused the issues. The bus caused it. I get it. But the big problem here is that we should have seen that pattern coming up ahead. Okay, so let's go and take a look at that one more time. So right here, we have a big open lane right in front of us. If you were that red SUV and there's people in front of you going slow, what would you do? You would switch over into that open lane. But you guys being smart riders, you know that you're going to go ahead and do your head checks. These drivers don't do that. So be aware of that. Let's go ahead and compensate for their inadequ inadequacies. So we have that bus wanting to turn left. It's going to push the SUV out. We're in their blind spot. Okay. This happens. Now we hit, apply the horn, we're applying some brake pressure, okay? Not too bad, not too bad. Handled it, handled it, pretty good. So, yeah. Real quick shout out to, oh, Raven Riders right here. Quick shout out to uh, True Classic, links in the description for them. They are the uniform sponsors. I got my uh, gym clothes, I got my uniform from them. Check it out, links in the description for a discount. Great, great stuff. This is the active wear, love it.